Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody, and let's start today's video with a very simple and straightforward question. Can you put in a comment section down below what brand of irons are you currently playing? Because my guess is the brands that you see on screen right now probably account for 99% of what most of you are actually using and have in the bag. And in my opinion, what that means is you're possibly missing out on the best set of irons to be released in 2023. And clearly, the club in my hand doesn't come from any of those brands that we've just mentioned. And it does, in fact, include not one, but two sets of irons that you're potentially missing out on. Which, incidentally, when you pair the two sets of irons together, could make the perfect setup for most average golfers. So the irons are in fact from Strix and they are the ZX4 and the ZX5, both Mark II. They've come a long, long way and I've already reviewed both of these irons on my channel. So the question you must be asking is why on earth are they featuring again in today's video? Well, because quite simply, I have not yet tried a better iron in 2023 that is possibly more suited to the mass of average golfers that follow this channel. So very briefly as a recap, that's the ZX4 and I've also got a mixed bag of ZX5. We've got hollow bodied forged face in the ZX4s, bit more bulk, bit more mass. And then in the ZX5, we've got a forged face, cavity back, Smaller profile, but the same principles adopted. V sole on the uh, on the bottom of the club face itself, better turf interaction. Some stunning feel throughout the sets. The, the shots you've seen me hit so far are a um, a five iron and a couple of wedges. Now five irons are with this ZX4, which I would certainly recommend for players that want a bit more forgiveness in that top end of the bag. And then the wedges you see me hit were from the ZX5. So there's a real opportunity to mix up a set here that feels like no other. And there's also one other option of maybe even slipping some ZX7s in that lower end of the bag. But for now, it's back to the five iron and I need a bit of help. So the choice is gonna be the ZX4. I just leaked that one out to the right hand side a bit but what really impresses me is just how good the feel is out of the whole set the ZX7 is predominantly the kind of pure forged iron but what they did this year in terms of the Mark II was make ZX4 the, the improvements in the sound and feel unreal and much more in parallel with the ZX5 and those ZX7. Super fast ball speeds off the ZX4s and again from a loft situation very much easy to streamline into that full mixed bag of set and like I said so far in 2023 I've not really seen a set that offers this kind of finesse throughout the bag good looks and that sound and feel it just isn't out there as far as i'm concerned now before i go any further into this video i just want to make sure you're aware of the new channel that we've recently opened and that is testing the tips please go on over there if you're interested in purely golf tips don't forget it's me as an average golfer just like you testing out the tips from the leading golf youtubers out there i would really appreciate your support so hop on over and give that a subscribe right back to these friction irons so back down the bottom end of the bag now for a pitching wedge and it would be the zx5 for me i wouldn't feel the need to go to zx7s still a compact iron i would liken it very much in profile to sort of a maybe a p790 again looks superb in terms of shelf appeal but the question is if 99% of you are not using them that means that there's a very small percent that actually is and what I really don't understand is what is the reason and the logic behind that and why are Strixen not selling more of these irons right let's see if we can learn anything from our tips videos and hit this wedge on the right direction Well, it's actually got through that just a little bit too much, which was something I was struggling with. We're just left of green, I'll take that. 
Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Now it's also worth noting that these come in at a slightly lower price point than most of their competitors as well. So still something else that throws the question is why aren't these being played by more and more average golfers? I'm gonna hit another five iron off this tee from the ZX4 range, which for me were probably the real star of the show. While the ZX7s and ZX5s are super irons, they didn't progress massively, in my opinion, from the previous iterations, whereas the ZX4 was a real leap forward in quality and just really does streamline this whole setup. Right, can we finish off with a nice long iron, which it's never anyone's favorite club, or not normally. Let's see if we can do this one justice. Ah, oh, solid. A real nice finish. Again, super feel, not sure how they've done it. One of the best feeling hollow body irons that we've, uh, we've looked at on the channel, like I said. With the hollow body irons in general, there can be a bit of a clicky sound to some of them. I think that doesn't happen with ZX4s. They've managed to eliminate it. Hats off to Strix and done a great job. It's a great lineup of irons. And like I said, I reckon 99% of you just ain't even trying these things. Never mind putting them in the bag. And this channel is all about highlighting what is the uh, the best options out there for average golfers and i think these are certainly in amongst it and one of the ones that you should be trying right now so if you are considering new irons if friction are available to you because i know that's another issue then make sure you give them a go because i think you might be quietly surprised right as ever thanks for watching i'm done on another sunny day in the uk it's just uh, the gift that keeps on giving right now we'll carry on filming some more videos and i'll see you tomorrow night